commit suicide. Right. Well, let me tell you what. It, it won't be because he's worried about Natalie Holloway. And that's what the problem is here. If this kid had a conscience, she would have been taken to a hospital no matter what his involvement was, and he wouldn't be staring at, at jail time. When we go back to the transcript, Art, and, and you look at the video and, and you see, and you and I agree that it's uh, it, it's a well-spoken confession. He, he was talking, uh, he was bragging, he was degrading Natalie. There were times that I would like to have reached through the TV and, and, and given him a slap, but, but, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. Here you have a case like this, and you look at the words, and you look at what he says, and he talks about if they ever find her, if they ever find her. When you have a confession, it isn't always, I did it, and here, it, it, and here's how oh, I absolutely. did it. It's if they ever find her. That in itself is there a confession. There are so many admissions in this confession without saying, I did it, that it's unreal. He uses those words. He talks about uh, his friends. He talks about uh, a, a, a debt that he owes to this person that helped him get rid of Natalie's body. Uh, it, it, there's no question in my mind that the hardest thing for Dave Holloway and Beth Holloway right now, uh, and and their, their respective families, including Robin and the kids and Matt and everybody, is to have to listen to this creep call your daughter a bitch yeah. and a whore when, when she's dying. He says, I even shook the bitch. Well, that's unreal. That's un that's you know that's callous, and it it shows just how much of a sociopath he is. It's 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 unconscionable, but yet it's it's true because we've seen it. Yet to come back and try and defend it as oh, you know, I lied before I was lying this time is is very difficult and. Uh, I would say it should be impossible for him to go through, but you've been to Aruba, you know the system there, anything's possible. It's not that happy island, is it? No, it's it's not. And, you know, there's different classes of people in Aruba, and Jorn was at the, at the top of it being Dutch and being the son of a, uh, of a judge. You know, I call him a prince when, in fact, it's not a monarchy, but at the same time, that's what happened. He was protected like a prince. And, uh, you know, I want to bring you one, one more point here that comes to mind when we talk about what happened right after this, this girl went missing. Dave Holloway arrives on the island on June the 1st, which is two days after Beth gets there. And within, within two or three days, the first week of June, he ends up talking to a young man in the Holiday Inn named Michael Dompeg, who told him that the word was that Paulus Vandersloot borrowed a friend's boat. Now, we knew that from the very first week of June. And we give that information to the police. And guess what? We don't know whether Michael Dompeg heard it from other kids or he heard it from his father. Absolutely. And, and uh, Gerald Dompeg uh, was a... Um a figure in this case we we don't hear much about him now but one has to wonder what stories he could tell and what evidence he could give in this case uh, you know one of the things that's incredible is the silence following uh, from from the Reuben officials following this confession they haven't been quick to step up to the plate and talk about this case at all including people like Gerald Dompeg, Jan Van der Straten, uh, Dennis Jacobs, Dolph Richardson, any of them. I haven't heard anything out of the Aruban authorities. You follow this case uh, closely, Art. Uh, today was supposed to be the day uh, that a decision would be made if uh, Joran would be rearrested. Uh, can you give us any inside information? Have you heard anything? I haven't heard anything. I, I have an email in to Jossie to see if he's heard anything. Um, quite frankly, uh, you know, nothing would surprise me. Uh, I, I, certainly, they better they better think about putting him back in jail because there's going to be an uproar from the from people all over the world if they don't. I mean, 
Oh, anybody that's... I don't think there's been ten people out of the millions that have viewed this confession that thinks that he's lying. When when you look at the broad spectrum here, uh, besides the, uh, the 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 audacity and the and the terribleness of of the offense and and taking Natalie's life, but there's a bigger picture after that as far as the prosecution, the investigation, uh, Karen Janssen, uh, Dom Peg, Van der Straten, you name it. Uh, there should be some heads rolling, and I mean that as a term, not literally, but uh, some people that have to answer to this whole mess. Aren't you know, you, you think that'll, that'll ever happen? happen? They may not have to answer to it, but Euron should have to answer immediately. Yeah. Uh, quite frankly, I stood side by side with Beth and Dave, and you're going to have Beth on your show. She'll tell you that. We, we begged the Prime Minister... The, 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 the Justice Department in Aruba, the Attorney General, to remove Chief Dompeg, Dennis Jacobs, Karen Jansen from this case, and they wouldn't do it. So, you know, uh, quite frankly, that was two that was two and a half years ago we asked them to remove them from the case, and we gave them plenty of reasons. We gave them enough reasons there should have been internal investigations. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, just before I let you go, Art, and I appreciate you coming on tonight, um, where do you think this case will be um, 30 days from now? Well, I'm hoping that, that we're going to get uh, some corroboration of, uh, of this, this so-called confession. You know, there's 20 hours of tape of admissions and so forth, by, and there's so much of it that can be corroborated. I'm not talking about uh, necessarily... Uh, I would love to see him find the person that got rid of the body or the persons, somebody would talk, that helped him take Natalie's lifeless body out to sea. I would love to see that. But there's so much other statements on this tape that can be corroborated. Uh, little simple things like what he, di- what he, what he said he did uh, at, at other times. And it's so easy to corroborate some of this stuff. So I would assume and I would hope and pray that... But Reuben Law Enforcement has some solid people corroborating every word he says. Because even it, all it takes is, is to prove it's truthful is to corroborate the little things. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you and I... Have... That's where I expect it to be in 30 days. And, and Dana, i, I got to thank you for keeping this case in the forefront. I, I, you know, I have so much respect for for your commitment to to the to the Holloways and and in the memory of Natalie and I, I I have a lot of respect for you Dana and I really appreciate it. Well, it's 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 simple. It's the right thing to do, and uh, unfortunately, the right thing wasn't done from the beginning here. And we need to do what we can to bring justice back for this family. Thank you, Art. Well, thank you, Dana. I appreciate it, and and good luck to all your listeners tonight. And tell Beth I said hi. We'll stay in touch. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.